Snakes are ancestors of lizards. After primitive lizards lost their limbs, their bodies evolved to become slender and elongated. Snakes have no eyelids and their eyeballs are covered with transparent scales. Despite being predators, they have poor senses of sight, hearing and taste, but have a strong sense of smell and heat. Some say they're terribly myopic, but not all snakes are. Cobras have very good eyesight. They don't have a sense of taste at all. They eat without realizing it. They do have teeth, but they're not designed for chewing prey. So, like we often see on television, snakes swallow and digest their prey unconditionally. If the prey is large, the jaws will stretch considerably. The snake's jaw is a ligamentous structure that stretches as needed and return to their original shape after feeding. Not only reptiles, but all animals in general. Of all animals, not just reptiles. If the head is triangular and pointed, it's usually a venomous snake. Non-venomous snakes have a rounded head. There are also snakes that are not venomous but have a pointed head in order to pretend to be venomous. Even non-venomous snakes have tons of bacteria in their mouths. If you get bitten by a snake, you should always go to the hospital, whether it's venomous or not. When people think of snakes, they think of cunning and intelligence. But in fact, snakes are considered by scientists to be animals of low intelligence. But that's because of their poor eyesight and the lack of a test system to measure their intelligence. I think it's more accurate to say that snakes are not low intelligent, but we don't know if they are low or high. Snakes are perceived by humans as cunning and evil, something to be rejected and avoided. But the truth is, snake venom is used in human pharmaceutical development, and snakes are among the top rodent eaters, carrying all sorts of germs and infectious diseases. The truth is that snakes have a lot to offer humans.